Good evening, folks. It's April 26, 2009. Um, I've been asked quite a few times what uh, you're going to do with the silver, how you're going to sell it, and so forth. What's the exit strategy? Basically, the same question is what are you going to do with the silver um, in the future? And I have to answer that question with a question What do you do with this? Seriously, it's that simple. You go and buy something with it. Maybe stocks? Okay. Maybe bonds? No, okay. Uh, food? Whatever. The same thing you'd do with silver. And the reason why you'd want to hold silver over these things is because it's money. And money does not lose its value. Sure, sure, there will be times when um, it goes down in when priced in dollars but everything else will go down priced in dollars as well and you'll be able to buy the same amount of stuff sure there will be times certain items you won't be able to pay for because they've been overpriced in dollars you have to stay away from those items until they come back down and they will come back down because you're running on a paper money system where Credit flows into the raw, flows into that one asset and bids that asset price up. And when when prices go up too high, they come crashing back way down, right down into your lap, where your silver and gold will pay for it. Now, another question is, um, how how do we uh, sell our silver when it's like five hundred dollars an ounce? Who's going to buy it? Well, if there's exchanges are still around, exchanges are built or designed for future selling of silver or gold or any kind of commodity and for um, price setting. Um, basically, they, they determine the price of that particular commodity and also provide liquidity. What does that mean? That means that somebody somewhere is going to buy your silver right? because it's, there's a central place where people can go to buy silver and get it and that is how you'll be able to sell your silver at five hundred dollars an ounce again if the exchanges exist the problem is i believe that the exchanges will not function at all meaning that just like in zimbabwe there is no official price for gold and silver. You will have to um, trade that directly with individuals for the paper money. Thus, it could be trillions or multi, multi quadrillions. And most likely it will be. So, that is why, that, that is what you're going to do with your silver and gold. Me, even after the hyperinflation, I'm still going to hold silver and gold because I know what it is. I know because I, I always wanted to just save my money. I, that's all I wanted to do. I didn't want to gamble it on the stock market. I didn't want to, you know, in, invest here, invest there. If you want to invest with your silver and gold, go right ahead. But understand the system. The system is designed against you. If you are, if you think you can earn um, eight percent on a on a dividend on a stock, and think that's good, you're wrong. Because you're getting wiped out. Because the real interest inflation rate right now, as calculated by Shadowstats.com, is seven point six percent. So you need to earn something closer to fifteen to twenty percent. Because after taxes, because you know, the government's got to take their share, you're going to get nothing. So consider that when you're investing with stocks. If you want to trade stocks, that's another, uh, uh, that's another alternative altogether. That is actually a job. It's a part-time job or a full-time job. But it's a job and you must treat it like that. Because if you don't respect it, you will lose.